If you are concerned about your balance in the press and you're concerned that you're going to put the bar over your head and potentially have issues being able to hold it over your head in balance without kind of taking a step or falling over, we have a method that is an alternative to the regular press that's going to get you strong enough to the point where you can press in the idealized uh, version that we have and the way that we typically teach the method. And Adam Martin from Starting Strength Cincinnati here is going to explain how to do that. So the concession we're going to make here is we're going to set up Andrew uh, very much the same way that we would set up for uh, any other uh, press without the rack. But we're going to introduce the rack. That's going to provide him uh, some stability, give him something to press against. He's going to take his, his typical grip on the bar, about shoulder width. All right. Now he's going to step up to the bar. All right. We're going to ensure that his elbows are nice and tight and they turn forward and the wrists are neutral. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and unrack. All right. Andrew, go ahead and press the bar up for me. Press as high as you can. Press, press, press. Now continue to press higher. Good. That ensures we get the shrug. Go ahead and come down. Lead with the elbows. And let's do one more, Andrew. Go ahead and press the bar up. I want you to press up as high as you can. And now I want you to press a little higher. Good. You see the shrug there. Lead with the elbows. Come down. All right. Let's go ahead and rack it. You know, a lot of times we're using this for someone who is older, deconditioned, uh, and so our, our loading is typically pretty conservative anyway. Maybe one, two, three pound jumps. As they get stronger, we'll see an increase in bar speed up the rack, uh, where initially maybe the bar was kind of crawling up the rack. As we get through a couple of weeks, you might see the bar really starting to, right. to so. accelerate up the rack. Uh, the trainee, uh, instantly, we see that their balance is better, and we see that their overall mechanics of the movement is better. Okay. So, uh, you know, those are some key indicators that we're probably ready to back off the rack uh, and, and have the, the, the trainee pressing without that assistance. We find after about three weeks or so of training, uh, we're able to bring the trainee off of the rack and have them pressing pretty well without the use of the rack. Let's say hypothetically that we've, we've began the trainee with a 22 pound bar. Uh, the 22 pound bar has been loaded, let's say a pound. Let's say we've, we've had them pressing three times a week. Okay? After a few weeks or so, we've got them pressing over 30 pounds against the rack. Um, now, they come in for beginning their fourth week in that training session. So we pull them off of the rack. Uh, we may have them back on a 22-pound bar uh, and pressing on their own at that point. Um, and, and kind of another key thing, uh, if you notice that I was the cue I was giving you at the top, we often talk about the importance of the shrug in the press. Well, we're able to, to, to really key in on that. As you press up, I just cue you, press a little higher. So that ensures that we retain the, the shrug in the press. If you've been waiting to get to the press and you're kind of concerned about that overhead position, start with this, press against the rack, start as light as you need to, just like we would do without the rack. That might be a 10 pound bar, it might be a 22 pound bar, it might be a five pound oak dowel, but you gotta start with something that is gonna give you an appropriate amount of stress that you can recover from and then adapt to and bring yourself off the rack when you have the control, the balance and the speed. And then if you need to, reduce the weight as you go from on the rack to the platform in order to account and accommodate for that change in technique. And just because you can't uh, you know, press the 45 pound bar uh, freestanding right away doesn't mean you can't do something to get stronger. So try it out and thank you for watching.